Outside the northern gate, the camels groaned, irritated by the traders mounting the animals to begin the long journey back to the Ethiopian highlands. Daniel was already in the saddle, keeping a firm hand on the reins to avoid the camel from wandering off. He looked eager to return home. Drivers urged their animals forward with loud shouts and cracking whips. Slowly, the long-stretched caravan began to move. As I took my place next to my son, the sun slowly began to rise above the hills. Not far from the gate, we passed a field of great stelae. Some stood tall, reaching for the sky, but most lay toppled, their pieces scattered over the ground. Father, Daniel asked, looking up at the towering stelae. When we entered the city, you told me that these stones marked the graves of ancient kings. Do you think Dagnajan is buried here as well? I shook my head while answering. No, my son, those kings are long dead. Christian kings never used stele to mark their burial place. Besides, the body of Dagnajan was never recovered. His two sons were far too busy trying to slay each other. So you told me last night. Daniel replied, suddenly remembering yesterday's story. A perfect opportunity for Yodit to strike. Oh, father, tell me all about it. I shifted my weight to sit more comfortably in the saddle before beginning. While the Aksumite Empire was divided in civil war between the brothers, Yodit ordered a fleet to be built. An invading force would cross the Red Sea and strike hard at Masawa, the most important harbor of the empire. Masawa, let's seize this land for your deep. Fight for Yodit once you have visited all the other tribes.
headed to Kihan. Ginbin Banyani.
Galeshi, a de Galeshi, Bagnani.
Ging bei mir ein. Thank <laughs> you. 
आओ मेरे दीची हाथ में फट से मवाल
running.
Ginbanyani 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 Thank you. 
בגין בעניין.
from this land for good. Be brave, Vassal! Although Gita John had managed to kill his brother and take the throne in the meantime, he had also lost the north to Yodit. Soon she would advance to the capital for the final battle. Daniel whistled through his teeth as I finished. That must have been an exciting time to be alive, father! He exclaimed in admiration. Before I could dispel his youthful naivete about warfare, shouts arose from the front of the caravan to stop for the night. Had I actually spoken for the entire day?' 